Now I will show you one of the scariest monuments in the whole world. It's a school tower. It's actually a, a tower built out of human schools. Yeah, it's in city of Niš in South Europe, in Serbia. Okay, let's see how much is the ticket for this. Koliko je karta za za posto? Može jedno. Slobodno je, otvoreno je, jel? Ok, hvala. This ticket is actually only 200 dinners and that's only 2 dollars. And by the way, city of Niš is uh, in orthodox religion. Yeah, it's a very, I can say, religious city. People here believe in God, they believe in spiritual energy, they believe in God's will. They believe that everything that is happening, it, it, it is happening for a reason. And, uh, well, not all the people, but uh, I think maybe 60 or 70 percent of domestic people here, of, of the citizens of Niš, they believe in God. And uh, now I will just show you some pictures, some, some footage of this, uh, of this monument yeah, of great cultural significance. The school tower is a stone structure embedded with human skulls located in a niche, Serbia. It was constructed by the Ottomans following the Battle of Chagar of May 1809. During the first Serbian uprising, during the battle, Serbian rebels under the command of Stevan Sinjelic were surrounded by the Ottomans on Chagar Hill near Niš. Knowing that he and his fighters would be impaled if captured, Sinjelic detonated a powder magazine within the rebel entrenchment, killing himself, his subordinates and the encroaching Ottoman soldiers too. The governor of the Rumelia Eyalat, Harshid Pasha, ordered that a tower be made from the skulls of the fallen rebels. The tower is 4.5 meters high and originally contained 952 skulls embedded on four sides in 14 rows. Following the Ottomans' withdrawal from Niš in 1878, the tower was roofed over and in 1892 a chapel was built around it. In 1937 the chapel was renovated, a bust of Sinjelic was added the following year. In 1948 the skull tower and the chapel enclosing it were declared cultural monuments of exceptional importance and came under the protection of the Socialist Republic of Serbia. Further renovation of the chapel occurred again in 1989. As of 2013, 58 skulls remain embedded in the skull tower's wall. The one that is said to belong to Sinjelic is enclosed in a glass container adjacent to the structure. Seen as a symbol of independence by Serbs, the tower is mentioned in the writings of the French Romantic poet Alphonse de Lamartine and the English travel writer Alexander William Kinglake. In the two centuries since its construction, it has become a popular tourist attraction, visited by between 30,000 and 50,000 people annually.
visit niche visit skull tower subscribe thank you for watching niche ki profile youtube video production